We're going to take the 7650 short. 7650. And our risk is above us into the uh, 80 range. And our target is um, uh, point of control, maybe the mid 60s. We're high 60s, 68. Oh, we're finally moving in the right direction after we uh, consolidated about two points below our stop in the 80 area. 80 and change with the CDEF period all within uh, a couple ticks. Our target is 68.50 on this trade. Uh, that is the, well, it was the point of control earlier. Now the point of control is above us. So the lower end of value is 71. And um, the Globex low is, of course, suspect. Um, we'll, keep a, we'll keep a close eye on what's happening right, right around here. I think we can get down to the um, lower end of value underneath 71. The shape of our daily profile is starting to resemble a P formation, short covering formation. It definitely looks unfinished, very similar to the high on 227, where it was a squatty kind of profile, and um, there just wasn't any elongation, there wasn't any extension, there wasn't any. Uh, one time frame buying or selling, just a two sided trade, and uh, we fell from there. So it seems that the 70 uh, area with the rally up to 80 um, might just fail. 10 points above the area back into the distribution, back into the 20 day distribution right around here. That's uh, usually not a good sign for upward continuation. We'll see. This is a very critical area. If we get below uh, here too much, get into yesterday's value area, we could easily see uh, an attempt to close the gap over the next couple days down in the uh, 20s. Boy, it was tempting to take the 74s over just a couple points. We saw something on uh, the charts that looked like we could have a little short-term reversal, but I'm hesitant to do anything because the XLF is still leading the, uh, the way down, and I want to get out of the position and then... Uh, you know, not get, not get filled. The NYFC tick chart is definitely building more negative volume. So I think I'm just going to stay put. We still have our stop up at 82. Uh, I might move the stop down uh, a little bit, but we're just going to keep everything status quo for now. Try to maximize the trade more than just a couple points. I think uh, in view of the profile, we could get below the 72 area, start to fill in the uh, opening two uh, range periods, AB, down between the 65 and the uh, 72 area. We'll try to be patient here. We also have a negative skew on the day of approximately uh, 12,500. Uh, we had a negative A column, negative B column, relatively neutral C column, negative uh, D column, neutral E column, negative F column, and now we have a negative G column. So I think the bias is definitely down. If we uh, finish the profile squat like this, then uh, I wouldn't be surprised at all that uh, tomorrow we had uh, lower to fill out yesterday's, uh, below yesterday's value area from 30s to about the uh, 50s. That's where I think the market's headed. We took out Globex's high. Globex, uh, Globex's high is not right in the field of view here. Get this in the field of view. That's as low as I can get it. But you can see uh, the Globex high is above us. Globex lows though is below us. And that's of course yesterday's range. There's a volume cluster there in the 58s. Volume clusters here, there. So. We're still in this trade. See, this is what I was concerned about. If we got out at, you know, 74 and the market never uh, moves, so it's difficult to get back in at a uh, higher price short. And, you know, then the market drops out to 70 or 68. And, you know, then you're in the same scenario. We're trading a couple points, miss the opportunity, and you just lose the trade. So we're trying to stick in here and just uh, let the market grind its way lower. We're going to take the 70, uh, 475s out 74.75 the uh, market looks like it wants to rotate up a little bit now we need to monitor for um, you know either continuation or a sign to get back short hopefully the market just doesn't uh, you know free fall and test the 72 area pause and then just break um, I hate to chase the market but I don't really anticipate any uh, huge movement to the upside and downside I think we've made the range today I think the uh, 65 area to the 82 area is probably the, the day's trading range. B period low is uh, 65, the C period high is 80. 
80 and change, 15 point range. So profit targets need to be tighter too. So far though, we're on the winning side of the equation. Well, we're tempted to get back in the market here. Each period looks uh, just opened up though, but it looks like it's building pressure. 73.50 short. Anticipating breaking the G period low here. Once it breaks the G period low, then we could easily go down to the 68s. So we uh, exited the other trade for a few points. We got back in at a slightly worse price. That always cost you, in this case, uh, cost a point and a quarter per uh, four contracts. That's five points. That's the risk you take um, with not having a great retracement. You can see uh, the retracement we had. You know, we got out at what 74.75 and it retraced up to 74.50 before people hit the bid and attempts now we're going to break this uh, price line here at 72.50. Uh, this is a real important area. You can see some people uh, you know, bidding passively. We'll see if that actually holds. If it doesn't hold, which it doesn't appear like it's going to hold, uh, the reason I say that is because the uh, XLF is leading the way down and the NYST, NYSE tick is building more uh, volume below the um, zero line. I would anticipate this to fail. We'll let the video run and see. <coughs> There's the failure. See, if anything was, was different, if the NYSE and the XLF weren't leading the way uh, and the tick chart it wasn't uh, building more negative volume than positive volume, then that I would have looked at it as potential support. But now the H period seems to be uh, destined to hit the 68 area. So um, we'll stay tight here. video here just let the market run for a little bit there's a volume cluster right around 69 we'll see uh, what kind of fill we can get see if we can test the 69s and get a decent fill that'll at least give me um, you know four four more points uh, per contract that'll help us uh, a bit we'll see if we can uh, get to that, that 69 I think 68 50 might be a challenge but um, 60 anywhere between 68 50 and, and 69 50 would be nice Seems that the market always pauses right before it takes that last little push. Sometimes that's hard to wait for. Here's a retest of the 71 area. This is real important as to what happens here. The 71 line's got 2,400 on a on a bid. That could be passive trade. Might just be uh, support. We need to break through that area. People need to hit the bid sequentially. We see, see it start to happen here. We need to get higher here than 28. This needs to build. We need to take the bids away. Now we're on the ass side. You can see the pullback column, 555 on the ass. So far, the support is holding. We need to take that out. This is bad for holding our position here so far. But if I get back out, I might only, like I said, I might get back in at a worse position. I don't anticipate the market getting lower than, too much lower than 69. So anywhere down in this area, I'd actually look for a rotation back up toward the high. If it got below 60, 69 and tested the A or B period low down in the 65, 66 area. So far, we're building a positive delta in the pullback column. This test here at this price line is held. You can see 3,300 contracts traded with a negative 75 delta. So, so far it's neutral trade here. 
that probably is is becoming better for us, even though the pullback column shows positive here. If we see this green uh, bill, that could be um, passive selling to the people that are buying, along with any selling. Uh, this initiative should take us lower. We'll pause the video and see if we break down here. Boy, this is tempting to take these 7175s. This market uh, seems to be finding some support down here. We're going to take the 7175s to look for a re-entry. 